River Walk in Perryville. You can sit by the creek and enjoy the view, have a delicious cocktail, and have some super barbecue. The River Walk Saloon is located in Perryville, Pennsylvania, right along the Poho Poco Creek. A different atmosphere, all outdoors. We seat about 200, 250 people. It's a smokehouse. We slow smoke our ribs here on site. They're smoked, baked, fall off the bone, delicious. Well, we're here outside and it's awesome. And I'm with PJ here at the Riverwalk. And PJ, um, you're noted for like all your barbecue, right? Correct, our ribs, our smoked wings. Yeah. We have our smoked pork butts that we do our pork sammies with. Good stuff. Everything is done right here on the premises. Do everything on premises, including making all our own sauces, our dressings. I love it. So what are we doing today? Today we'll make our rub that we use on our ribs. Okay, it's terrific. So, so the measurements aren't exact because I can't give those away. Right. So that's our little secret on how much you use. And I'm sure you've, you've made it so many times that it just like <laughs> 100%, muscle memory. <laughs> 100%. So first we'll start with brown sugar. All right. Paprika, paprika. we'll add paprika to it. Majority's paprika, you know, it adds the color to it. We use a blackened seasoning here just for a little of the flavor into it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much what we're making right. out of this rub. All right, some garlic powder. And the meats right. are beautiful. Yeah, we started right. with some nice, good quality meats. Right, we use um, Hatfield meats for our mm -hmm. pork butts for our ribs. Onion powder, a little ground ginger. Okay, Excellent. After the ground ginger, we'll add a little cayenne for a little bit of spice. You know, nice. we, we tried to find a happy medium between a sweet and spicy yeah. rub because not everybody likes spicy, not everybody I know. likes sweet. So, <laughs> Great. all right, so once we got everything in there, yep. you know, we'll give it a nice good mix. Okay. Mix it up as best you can here. Now, salt and pepper, I didn't really add in here because I have it in the blackened seasoning itself. Oh, okay. So, that's one reason why I do use the blackened seasoning because it kind of has that in there for it. All right, so after the rub, you know, we put them in the smoker for a couple hours, let them smoke. We wrap them after that and let them finish cooking. Okay. When they're finished cooking, we take them from here, plate them very nicely for you. These we look put, great. Thank you very much. And we uh, drizzle them with a little bit of our homemade barbecue sauce. Excellent. Just to make them a little extra juicier. And then from there, they pretty much fall off the bone and into your mouth. I mean, they're mouth watering, so yeah. you can't really go wrong with our ribs here. That's for sure. All right, PJ, what do we have here? This looks good. All right, this is our smoked pork butt here. Mm -hmm. This is that rub I showed earlier that yeah. we made. We use this on our pork butts as well. So this came off the smoker. It's ready to pool. Okay. What we use this for, what we're known for with our sandwich wise is our pork sammy, which is uh, fresh pulled pork, our pickles, onions, and we put our homemade barbecue on it. So I mean, right now I'll uh, yeah, I'll squeeze let's it down put for one you, together. Show nice how tender it is. Oh, it look at how here. juicy that is. Yeah. We do a smoke for about four hours. We cook it then for eight hours, so it's a 12 hour total wow. that we do it for. Yeah, we'll just pull it apart like that, make sure we got some of those natural juices on it. Yeah, that looks great. So we grab our potato roll here, which we use a Martin's potato roll. In my personal opinion, in potato rolls, I don't think you get any better. So put a little fresh cut onions, about six to eight ounces of pork here. Wow, that looks great. Right. Yep. So then we drizzle our homemade barbecue sauce on it, put a few pickles on top, mm -hmm. and then bam. Beautiful. Just like that, it goes right out to uh, your table for you to enjoy. Nice. All right, so for the salmon, you know, we normally, you can pick any side you want, but I played it here with our french fries here. We put a little salt pepper on it. Yep. Um, the ribs, you know, you get two sides with, with a full rack. We have our homemade mac and cheese and our Ooh. homemade dirty rice that we nice. make in-house as well. Terrific. Folks might not know, like this place is so much fun. You have several outdoor bars, right? Yes, there's several outdoor bars, the game room. And the mixologists, they can make any drink that you could possibly think of, right? If you could think of it, the bartenders <laughs> here, they could definitely make it for you, no problem. It's a great place and it's right along the creek here. You're outside. It, it's really yes. great, great fun. Yes, it's honestly, it's like a home away from home. You know, you come here, you almost forget that you're out and about. It's a very totally. nice, cozy atmosphere. I mean, you can't go wrong coming to hang you're out here. You're exactly it's, right. It's like you're a million miles away. Right. So much fun. And we thank you for having us today. We really appreciate it. So why don't you tell coming. everybody about your social media and where you're located? Yes, follow our Facebook. We do mm -hmm. have a lot of specials that we promote there. It's updated daily. Yep. Um, we're located at 101 Center Street, Perryville. And I'm sure your staff is ready for everybody to come and visit. Yes, absolutely. We're definitely ready for everybody to come out and eat, drink, and have a good time. I love it. Thanks again. No problem. Thank you. Mm -hmm.